Yo, yo, what's going on guys? So in this video, we're gonna talk about KDP research. Uh, when we get into the computer, we're gonna do some research. I know there there is some, actually some niches out there that people buy, the people buy some weird stuff. And uh, it's, it's pretty cool to kind of think about like, okay, what are they using this for? What are they doing this for? Uh, but then there's, I don't know, we'll, we'll see what we find. Um, but I came across a few niches that are kind of um, pretty weird. I'm like, people are actually buying this. And like the, the BSR, the sales rank is pretty low uh, on Amazon. I'm just like, dude, like who's buying this type of stuff? <laughs> who's buying this stuff? Uh, but then again, there's no competition. Um, so it's, it's, it's pretty crazy. Um, so let's win this video and do some research and stuff like that. Also too, uh, the last three nights I've been thinking about uh, taking off the monetization on my YouTube channel. So I went ahead and did that too as well. I kind of thought about it. You know what I mean? I was thinking about it and I was like, you know what? My channel was, when I first started this, it was about putting content out for people and um, not hitting people with annoying ads. So I'm going to, I took it off. Well, I'll take it off of this video and then all the previous next videos that I'm maybe making, they're going to be coming off too as well. I tried to take it off a few of my other videos and it wouldn't let me. I actually tried to take it off all of them. It kind of, I'm not sure what happened. I mean, uh, I'm not sure what happened exactly, but I tried to do it. It didn't work for all of them, but some of them, some of them it did. And I'm going to try to take most of it, like all of them off because I just, I don't know. I just, I don't, I, I think it's getting hit with ads gets pretty annoying. So, um, yeah, just, I don't know. Just, just, just my, my take on that. So, um, I appreciate you guys watching my content and stuff like that. All of you guys that are been following me and just watching me grow over the past two, two years, two and a half years since I've been doing this. And it's uh, pretty exciting. I meet new people and stuff like that. And I think that's what it's about. Just meeting new people and networking and, uh, people like I meet some people on YouTube that I've, that I, that have actually made a big impact in my life and actually helped me with a lot of things. We just collab, you know what I mean? Just collabing with other people and uh, people messaging me like, Hey, do you think we should do this? And like kind of just kind of getting ideas just off of YouTube content, YouTube videos that I make. Um, it's, 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 it's pretty cool. So yeah, that's, that's my take on that. And, uh, for now I'm just going to take off the ads off my channel. Um, yeah, so it's, let's see, let's see, uh, how that, how that works out. Um, yeah. And I'm like, also too, like I need a haircut and, uh, I'm like two hours late for my shower. I actually went to the gym a little bit earlier. Um, got my Lion King shirt on. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's, that's about it. Let's get into this video. Um, let's find some niches. Let's, uh, with like, no, like barely any competition. But I find, I've been finding stuff on KDP, uh, with, with no competition at all. And a lot of people are getting confused with KDP and trying to figure out what, like, like, do I have to create a book, like a full, like, like, like a novel or something like that? No, you can create like log books and stuff like that. And I've been trying to explain, kind of trying to drive home to people on that. Like there's different ways you can approach this. There's different ways you can approach a lot of things that I create content around. Okay. So let's get into the computer and uh, see what we find guys. And uh, hopefully you guys have a good day, have a good night, good morning, whatever it is. All right, so let's get into the computer. Who's Alrighty, yo, yo, what's going on? So we're in the computer. Um, just a heads up too guys, uh, July. It's like, uh, it's always slow in July. Um, it's always really hot in July. It is uh, obviously, you can tell I live in California, so the weather is crazy. Um, yeah, so let's, uh, that's uh, I already kind of have an idea what we're looking for. I have a buddy uh, I was talking to earlier on Facebook uh, and we're kind of just going back and forth about his French bulldog. So I haven't searched for it at all, but it was just an idea. Um, just want to see if there's see, see if there's a demand for French, the French bulldog, see what they're, uh, if there's like a journal or something or what's going on. Uh, notebook journal, let's see book. Okay, let's 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 start off with this French Bulldog book. Uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. We're going back to what I was saying. In July, it's slow because everybody's, I don't know, just always slow in July. It seems like people are out on on vacation and stuff like that. Um, look at this right here, right off the back. I am seeing uh, coloring books, dogs. Um, also, too, straight off the back, so. If, French Bulldog book. You can always come in here. Just, I'm using everything that I'm using in here is going to be free. There's no no cost or nothing like that. Prime and then what I like to do. So left hand side, right hand, the left hand column. Um, I did a previous KDP uh, research um, and I just got, let's go, just going off this off the top of my head. What's going on right now? There's there's things that are going on in the world or 
who I'm talking to. I just get ideas from who I talk to and uh, French Bulldog, like I said. Um, so left hand side prime and then come down here um, to the book format. Click paperback. All right. Um, so the, the complete guide to French Bulldogs, there's you can see there's there's authors in here doing um, there's the handbooks, stuff like that, guides, um, kids books. I w honestly too, I want to get start getting into some type of story books too as well pretty soon. Coloring books, if you guys don't know, I do coloring books too as well. It's not a secret no more. I was actually uh, trying to, I was kind of keeping, trying to keep that to myself because I wanted to see what I could do. But uh, coloring books are very big if you can do them. So if you can create a coloring book, you can do a lot with that. Um, actually, that would be actually a really good video to go over with too as well with you guys um, to kind of show you guys like uh, how I've been doing it and how, how like the process of the step-by-step -step process and how I do coloring books. Uh, uh, 20, 20 pages per coloring book, which would be 40 altogether. Um, if you don't know where, so it's a blank page, line drawing, blank page, line drawing. So all together in the book world, um, it's going to be 40 pages. Um, so let's, let's see what's, let's, let's dive in here and check out what's going on. Okay. Now this right here, this is a, a whole book right here. Now this is going to be a little bit hard. We're talking about more low content, um, type of, uh, books for KDP. Something like this was really well put together. As you can see, it's been up here since 2015 and then they're doing really well this is actually a paper so paperback and actually have it on kindle too as well so no this one for the example now coloring books awesome i love coloring books very creative um i just like the whole concept about it behind it it just it's it's awesome like just to see like the, like the line drawing and then you can see how people are just they, they color this in right here um this right here uh, I have like you can just see right here that you, you can use this illustration for shirts and then you can use it for a coloring book so this is this is really dope this is awesome this is really good right here the detail work in this <laughs> it's pretty cool um, you can see how you, people are doing the coloring books uh, coloring books doesn't have that much competition in it but it it's 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 pretty cool when you have you create them and then you physically order them and you can see like your coloring books uh, I have a few, I actually have a lot of them, probably like 30, 40 coloring books that I've ordered myself just to check them out and dude, I, I love just to order them, just to check them out and open them. So, all right, so next one, um, there's so many pages in here. If you guys too are coming here, you can see the details in here. So they probably have about 30, they have, it seems like it was front and back, they had front and back, right? So, so 70 pages in this book. So that's, that's pretty cool. And you can see the eight reviews and the ranking. Uh, next one, another coloring book too as well, um, same person. This is their niche, it looks like. Uh, yeah. Come in here, yeah. Look at it. Awesome. Really good. You can see the front and then the kind of in the back, kind of more about like the branding and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. So, some of the guys you can think about too, as well. You guys can do something right here um, with the branding and stuff. Now, now we kind of just, we kind of just dove in here. Now we can see there's French Bulldogs. Um, now let's see what's, let's, let's, let's like, you kind of got the idea already, uh, of coming in here and seeing what we can do with this. Um, there's the coloring books. Let's see if we can find another one. Um, but I'm thinking English bulldog next. Um, we can come in there and coloring book guides. I'm seeing so coloring book for kids guides. What's this? What's this? What's this? No. Sketch drawing. So for like this whole niche, understand. Look at see there. Here we go. There's notebooks too as well. Uh, story paper. See this? You see what they're doing right here? The sponsored related products. This is this is cool. Um, and this they're doing simple things too. Dotted grid paper, story paper hexagon paper large there's so much look at garden paper okay there's a lot that they're doing right there um, let's check this out right here okay so as you can see this is a low content book and all they did was do a the cover you see how they did the cover and then look at the back see how they did that um, sketchbook 
Okay, so it's a sketchbook. It's a French Bulldog sketchbook. And this is pretty cool. And this is uh, kind of what I was trying to find for you guys and show you guys. I mean, kind of just doze off, went off into coloring books. So you guys can see um, 110 pages, right? Of just blank. All it is is just blank. Okay, they have the first page. Uh, and then everything else, all the pages behind that are all blank. So 110 pages of blank paper for sketching and stuff like that. So you kind of get the idea behind that. So this is a perfect example right here for this video. And then now um, this kind of, so we have that idea down. You can see the, uh, the related uh, products right here. Um, let's go into English Bulldogs now and uh, see what we can find in there. You guys can see just, just brainstorming, just going off of... Um, off of one niche and it's going from there um, going from like one one niche and it's kind of just going and then I'm gonna do the same exact thing primer right here on the left hand side and uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, make sure we're ahead of the book format you want to do paperback okay don't kind of don't get mixed up and clicking in the category um, come down doo -doo 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 -doo. adult coloring book okay we're finding a lot of coloring books do a coloring book okay here we go here we go composition and this is ranking like on that front page too as well down 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 I actually got a no book I actually got a, a real picture of a dog on there instead of like this yeah you can see let's go to the next page and like I said everything I'm showing you in this too as well is I'm just doing it based off of Amazon, but just doing the research on here. Uh, notebook, see, there's another picture of a dog. They're not, see these ones right here, they're not doing so much of like vectors or illustrations or anything like that. They're actually getting a, like a, they're putting like a real life picture of a dog on there. So, something to think about too as well right there, guys. Um, this one's not ranking. Uh, the French Bulldogs are popping up. Another coloring book. Training. That's big too, guys. Like, tr like any type of training of like dogs or stuff, so anything like that. That's 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 really big. Oh, planner. Okay. All right. So let's start with that right there. Let's let's go in here. Uh, let's check it out. An adult coloring book. Um, I know this is my first time ever seeing something like this. We hope you enjoy this coloring book. Download some extra free coloring patterns news. This is pretty cool how they're doing that. You see how they're putting their own branding in there too as well. Um, just ideas to give you guys. Um, I'm not sure about this right here. What's going on right here? Maybe you guys can inform me in the comments down below. What's this right here? I'm not sure, but uh, it's a uh, pretty weird, pretty cool. All right, and then also too, guys, don't forget too when you click on something like this, there is. Customers also viewed this right here. So the customer clicked on this, actually took the time to click on this and come down here, or they actually viewed. So they're, so Amazon is actually putting the products together, actually putting the products together, um, putting the products together. Uh, the customer also viewed this. They, so they viewed this and this. So it's, it's you guys gonna get the idea of Amazon's actually trying to like make it easier for the customer, but it, it, sometimes it actually puts. Uh, the customer also purchased this too as well um, so yeah let's kind of let's continue on to the next one and here's more sponsor related products you, oh look at see like just come in here look at there's other niches look at elephants uh, dogs amazing dogs see stuff like that it's it's more of a general right that like uh, dogs in general um, I would go into more of a niche kind of dog like English Bulldog French Bulldog like I'm showing you guys right now um, now a composition book these ones right here I know they do really well I know a lot of people that make them um, you can just see the sizing and everything um, sizing right here down below this right here the product information tells you everything about this book tells you the product just just the product uh, dimensions you can see the paperback all this stuff right here this, this gives you a lot of information right here um, as you can see so come on here click on this let's check this out and look at it. it's just lined paper on the inside okay so don't make it that hard um, understanding like coming into a niche and thinking about what would people would want to buy what do people use you know what I mean 
Um, there's a lot you can do in one niche and dominate that niche. So what I recommend is focusing on one niche at a time and coming in there and dominating it. It's like kind of get the idea behind it. And there's like, so for one niche, you can do coloring books, you can do composition books in one niche, um, line paper, like notebook paper. Uh, you can see wide rolled paper, um, anything related around school stuff too as well. There's a lot you can do right there. Um, think about that too as well. Think about think about everything that you what can you do with the book? Like I have a planner right here in front of me that I use I consistently write in. You can make a bulldog planner, stuff like that, you know? Um let's check this one out. Okay, it's not showing us nothing in here. It's a notebook though, so um pretty sure just blank like line pages or just blank pages. Uh, 110 pages. right next one another note another uh, bulldog notebook right this journal belongs to I see a lot of this right here I do this myself too as well um, you can see just the lines so you can take notes that's all that is that's all that is and how many pages is it uh, 120 pages right and it's consistently making sales look at that BSR it's what it seems like it's consistently making sales 159 K so and then the sizing six by nine all right, and so let's jump on to the next one. Uh, planner, right here, English Bulldog Planner. This is what I was talking about. Um, now look at this. Now this is more, it's gonna take a little bit more work on the inside, but it's it's awesome, it's cool. Okay, 2019 Planner. This is, this is pretty cool, awesome. A little bit more work, and uh, understanding that you can just come in here and just use this template right here and you can use it for other niches too as well just keep it in more general uh with that and then you can use it for french bulldog niche and got the bulldog niche you know what i mean so this is really cool um real simple also too simple sales when it comes to kdp like people don't some people don't want like a crazy looking design on a, on the front of their book they want something really simple and this is the perfect example so check this out um, let's see how many pages are in here. So 134 pages all together. Um, the sizing eight by 10, okay. Eight by 10, the sales rank, two reviews. You can also check out the reviews too. There was, the reviews give you a lot of social proof. You know, look, at, it's showing you like the inside of the book. And the last review was March 2nd, 2019. You can see this, it's showing you all the information here. Check it out, look it. Pretty cool, huh? And you can also tell sometimes in the reviews too, here's a little hint that sometimes in the reviews, they tell you like what they're using it for. Of course it's a planner, what they're going to use it for, but they can kind of give you some, kind of come down here and get some keyword ideas down like below right here. Um, yeah, man, it's, it's crazy what you can, what you can do with this, with the reviews and stuff like that. Don't forget that's an actual customer's verified purchase. You can see verified purchase. Um, there's some people that leave fake reviews on stuff like that. And it won't say verified purchase, but, uh, we'll come in here and seeing what they're using it for. Uh, and get an idea and you can kind of see like monthly calendar seems like a good keyword you know what i mean stuff like that um like they, that's why they like it you know you get ideas from people leaving reviews and seeing what what they're what they're what they're leaving about and what they're using it for and then you can kind of just build off of that so yeah guys um that's pretty much it hopefully you guys got uh some value out of this out of this uh video and you guys have any questions please comment down below like and subscribe guys peace out